Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna create an NFT minting site with no code using an application called MakeSwift. Now we're gonna do a couple of things in today's video. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a sample NFT collection, which we're gonna then connect to our website for minting. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and create our minting site again using an application called MakeSwift. Now there are a few requirements that we're gonna have to make sure everyone has before we get started. The first thing is you're gonna need a GitHub account. So if you don't have one already, go ahead and create one. You are gonna need an account with Versailles uh, which we're going to use to go ahead and deploy our app or our minting website. And the third thing is you're going to need an account with MakeSwift, which is going to be our no code visual website builder that we're going to go ahead and connect our NFT to so that people can mint from. Now, a minting website is basically a website where people can go ahead and interact with UI components on your website to go ahead and mint your NFT collection. They don't need to directly interact with a smart contract or anything. So it makes it a lot simpler for people to go ahead and claim your NFT if you you have a website or something that they can claim it from. But with that being said, let's go ahead, let's jump on the computer and get started. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos, do us a small favor, hit that subscribe button, join the 30%. On top of that, every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web NFT. So right now you can see Again, the three things you need to sign up for is one, a GitHub account. Make sure you have an account with Vercel as well and make Swift, uh, which is that visual builder that we're going to be using. Make sure you have an account there too. We are going to be following a guide that is going to be linked down in the description below. But in the guide, there is a link to a repo here. And what you're going to do is if you scroll down in the readme section, you will see you can read over how you can go ahead and build this out. But the example here, we're going to go ahead and deploy to for sale. So there is a deploy button here. We'll go ahead and click that. Now, what we're going to have to do is name our repository here. I'm just going to name this minting site demo. We're going to go ahead and click on create give it a bit all right we're going to add our integration here so this make swift integration we'll go ahead and add and it's going to open up this window here and we're going to pick from a template and if you scroll down a little bit you will see this e-commerce third web template here we can go ahead and use this site and as that deploys, what we can go ahead and do next is we'll head on over to Third Web's website and we'll go ahead and create our NFT collection. So let's go ahead to Third Web. Let's connect our wallet. OK, so once we go ahead and we are on our Third Web dashboard, we'll go ahead and deploy a new contract. We're going to do a NFT drop contract. So it might be in the popular section up here, but if it's not there, if you scroll down to the NFTs collection, you can go to view all and there should be a NFT drop within those co uh, contracts. We'll hit deploy in the top right here. We'll name our NFT contract. So we'll just say minting site NFT. And then we'll just call, give it a symbol here. I'm just going to put mint and then we'll just put this NFT can be minted from a website. We're going to keep everything the same down here. We're going to deploy this on Gorly and we're going to go ahead and hit deploy. Switch my wallet network here and deploy. So we'll go ahead and confirm this transaction here to deploy our smart contract. All right, and once our smart contract is deployed, what we'll do is head on over to the NFTs tab here and we'll go ahead and we'll do a few uploads of NFTs that we have. So we'll go ahead and we'll just call this NFT number one. So I have a file here that I'm going to use as the NFT. I'm not going to add a description or property or anything. And we're going to go ahead and just lazy mint our one NFT here. We'll wait for that transaction to come up. We'll confirm that transaction. All right, and we now have our one NFT that is lazy minted in our smart contract here. And this will be the smart contract that we display on our MakeSwift 
website uh, so that people can go ahead and mint from. Now, if we go back to our Vercel here, you can see our minting site demo has gone ahead and finished. I spelled site wrong, but we'll go ahead and we'll open that up. And you can kind of view right now that this is what our website looks like. There is a default contract here uh, that has some uh, NFT collection. Uh, we're going to switch that to our own collection here and we'll go ahead and edit some of the text and everything that is on this website. So let's go ahead. Let's log into our Make Swift account here. And you'll see that once we log in, it's going to go ahead and load my minting site demo right up here. So we'll give it a moment to load it. And MakeSwift is a visual website builder. So you can see here that all these elements are within what I guess you could call blocks. And if you double click or click in them, you can go ahead and change the text. So we can just say this is a uh, mint or we'll say a, a NFT minting site. And we can say this was created with third web and cool. So you can go ahead and change elements, uh, edit things however you want. You can say uh, supply, right? Our supply is one because we only have one NFT that we minted and you can go ahead and change the other things on this website as well. You have on the left side different pages. So if you need to add different pages, you can go ahead and add different pages as well. Right now, we just have our home page, which is this one here. But the cool part is what we're going to do is change the NFT that can be minted. So right now, if we hover over this, it says NFT drop, which is kind of this section and element right here. If we click on it on the right here, we have some information that we can change. And you'll see that we have a chain and contract address section. Uh, and this is where we can go ahead and change it to the information of our NFT collection that we created. So if we go to chain, we're going to go to girly because that is the chain that we created our collection on. And if we go back to our collection here, I'm going to go ahead and copy that contract address. We're going to go back to our editor here and in contract address, I'm going to go ahead and paste that new contract. Now we don't have a preview image here. So if we go to settings, let's upload our preview image, uh, which is just the same image as our NFT. And we'll go ahead and hit update metadata. So you can see there is no image here because we didn't have one uh, set on our contract. We'll open up that transaction and confirm it. We'll wait a bit. All right, so that looks set now. So we go back here. We'll just have it reload that and you can see that image is set right there. Now, what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and publish the changes that we've made so that if we come back here, you can now see this is the URL to our minting site demo. Uh, you can see all the changes in the text that we have done with uh, right over here and our little supply of one. And you can see right here on the right, it no longer shows the NFT collection of different shapes. It goes ahead and shows our NFT collection and contract that we created. So you can see here, there is a zero out of one NFTs claimed and we only have one NFT in our collection. And if we wanted to, we can go ahead, let's double check. So if we go back to our contract here and go to NFTs, you can see the owner right now, it is not owned by anyone because we just lazy minted it to our contract. So if we come here and connect our wallet, uh, it says this drop is not ready to be claimed. And that is because we also need to set a claim condition on our contract. So if we come back to our third web contract here and go to claim condition, uh, we will add an initial claim phase. Uh, we'll keep everything as is. We're not going to charge anything for it. Uh, you'll just pay the gas to mint it. So we'll go ahead and save that. All right, and we come back to our minting site here. You can see we can now mint our NFT. Uh, we can't increase or decrease because we only have one NFT in our collection. So only one can be claimed right now. And you can see it is a free mint. So if we go ahead and click on that, let's go ahead and confirm that transaction to mint that NFT. 
All right, you can see down here our NFT has been successfully minted and you can see it says sold out because we have minted one out of one of our NFTs. Now, if we come back to our contract here and we go into our NFTs, you can now see the owner is our wallet address that we minted with. And there you have it. We went ahead and built an NFT collection using third web smart contracts. And we went ahead and built an NFT minting website with no code using Make Swift. Now, if you folks really did enjoy this video and you found some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well to see other amazing tutorials just like this. Also, don't forget to join the Third Web Discord and join the amazing community of builders just like yourself. If you need any help or support, you can feel free to drop a question in there. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and you learned something new. And until next time, see ya.